Um, yes, we're pleased to be invited to address you today because um, homelessness is something that affects gypsies and travellers in enormous amounts. Basically, 20% of gypsies and travellers who live in caravans are statutory homeless, which means they don't have a site which they can legally stop on and put their caravan on. And this um, causes great, great difficulties for the families that we work with. I mean, we work with families that have been evicted maybe 20 times a year, uh, so not 20 times, perhaps 50 times a year. They're not moving at their own pace, they're moving at the pace that they're being evicted by local authorities, private landowners and the police. And it's a very hard way of living. You don't have um, access to running water. This is 21st century Britain. Uh, 20% uh, of gypsy travel families don't have access to running water. You don't have access to refuse collection, education, healthcare, the poor opportunity. It's a difficult way to live. You could be subject to vigilante attacks living on the roadside. And um, local authorities are not making the situation easier because they're supposed to be providing uh, allocating land for sites, but um, this is not really happening. Also, um, they block off traditional stopping places which are maybe more out of town, such as in Brighton, that might be, say, on the race course, or say, in just, uh, kind of brownfield land, such as Amberton Bottom, Preston Barrett. And when all the traditional stopping places get blocked off, what happens is that travel families don't have no alternative but to stop in more high profile stopping places, such as Perks and Plainfield, which brings them into more conflict with the set of population. Um, so we don't see that as um, a good way forward. Uh, the way forward we do see is to have statutory duty on local authorities to provide sites. There did used to be a statutory duty. This is under the um, 1968 Caravan Sites Act. And um, as in this duty, most of the local authority sites that exist were built. But in 1994, the statutory duty to provide caravan sites was appealed under a Criminal Justice and Public Order Act, along with 100% central government funding to build these um, sites. But very few local authority sites are built, and travellers, the government thinking is that travellers could buy their own land and provide um, up by their own land and provide their own site. But this is too very difficult to do because local authorities are supposed to allocate land in their local development plan for the sites to go on. But only one local authority in the country did that. So travellers had to navigate that place they do, have to navigate the planning system on their own, invariably not get planning permission, have to go to appeal with the planning inspector, and then planning permission increased greatly at planning appeal, showing that there was a flaw in the system, that the system would appear to be discriminatory, because when you got an independent planning inspector come in, there wasn't a local council, there wasn't kind of rescue or local prejudice, the planning commission went up locally. We're seeing um, also an increase in people that are trained. We work with all travellers, traditional travellers, Roman Egyptians, Irish travellers, and also new travellers who have chosen the way of life. So second and third generations are born into it now. But we're also seeing an increase in people because of big measures such as the criminalisation of spotting in uh, residential properties, uh, bedroom tax, benefits tax. We're seeing people turning to a travelling way of life that perhaps don't actually particularly want to be in it. It's not necessarily their first choice. And for instance, can't even drive, so they have to pay other people to move them on. You know, we're seeing the homelessness increase. These measures. Well, we so they haven't addressed it. They've made it worse. Um, they were in the last government had regional targets, uh, targets on regional assemblies for pitches to be provided to meet the accommodation needs of travellers. The current government scrapped those targets because they don't believe. They say they don't believe in um, local, uh, in central government telling local authorities what to do. So they said it's down to local authorities to meet the needs themselves. But well, we all know what happens when local authorities uh, are meant to meet the needs of a group that is so widely unpopular as gypsies and travellers. It doesn't happen. Another thing the current government has done is they launched a, a consultation on the planning definition of gypsies and travellers, which would narrow it even further. So. Um, you wouldn't be classed as a gypsy or a traveller if you'd stop travelling to put your children into school, to address your health issues, or because you're elderly and no longer can manage a travelling way of life. Um, thankfully, that has actually been blocked by both of MPs, but you know, we were very sad to see that. So I'd like to all to vote this um, coming election. We have an election on May the 7th. Homeless people have a right to vote 
if you're no fix the boat, you can contact your local council and um, make a deck, deck a, it's called your local declaration of local connection. We have deadline. that sheet, we have that sheet. Okay, so the deadline for that is next Monday, the 20th of April. So I really would urge everyone to go and to look at what the parties are proposing and to look at what parties are proposing to address the homelessness issues, both for the wider population and for gypsies and travellers.